You know, from day one, I got to say, getting into this business, starting fleets, um, doing rideshare, doing private trips, I, I always love to see uh, a person who takes pride in their vehicle, right, with a sweet setup. So multiple charges, your screens on the headrest, uh, these signs you can get on Amazon. Um, in fact, Fair Co-op will be branding their own ones to, you know, increase your tips, just wishing people a nice day, sweet setup in the, in the middle here, uh, cleaning wipes or cloths, uh, trash bin, waters, candy, never put chewing gum in there, but you could put mints and candy in there and, um, super clean car, super slick setup. Um, not really an expensive investment, but think about the optics, right? Just think about the optics, keeping them busy here, giving them entertainment, a multi-charger, wishing them a nice day, serving them candy, you're serving them water, and, um, you know, whatever they maybe want to wipe their phone or wipe their TV, sc uh, their, their screen, their computer screen, or just clean their mouth or whatever, I don't know. But like, it's all there, right? And it's just simple and it's clean and it's effective and it sends the right message. So a, a lot of the um, people that less, lease SUVs from me, I, I very much encourage them to go in this direction. This is maybe, uh, this to me looks like, uh, firstly, well, this is a overseas car. It's a, 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 it's a steering wheel, a right hand, so it could be, you know, it could be UK or Scotland or South Africa. Definitely not an American car, but, um, you know, I, I would, I encourage my uh, private drivers, at least vehicles for me to do something in this direction, at least waters, mints, um, you know, a bath bag or a trash bag. Uh, not a big fan of these signs, although I do think they work. I think it's a little bit overkill. And then obviously, do you have the money to bring in like, sort of like entertainment? Or, or live feed if they want to watch the sports or et cetera, et cetera. So um, pretty slick website. Uh, you'll have a lot of people commenting, hell no, I'm not going to put that in there. I'm not going to, I mean, UberX, I wouldn't advise going this route. You know, this is maybe XL or SUV or higher. I mean, X, you're not going to get a return here, right? When you're getting little twosies and threesies and foursies and then suddenly they drink two waters and a whole bunch of canyon and you're already in the negative so this only really makes sense um in the higher categories in the upper echelons or for 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 private private this is a little bit private clients is a little bit overkill but there are certain components here that stick out that make their life or their trip a joy and i want to um salute and 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 recommend uh, this individual, and 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 praise them for their setup. They obviously take a lot of pride and joy in their job, and it's reflected right there. Uh, but again, if you're an Uber X driver, um, You know, maybe the charger, the screens, these can certainly stay in. But like a lot of this is going to cost you money in, in a regular X or shared. Some people are even crazy enough to do shared. Or if you, if, if you, if you, if you allow teens and you have Uber teen on, they'll clean you out. They don't care. It's not like, oh, I'm going to take one or two. Or this is my opportunity to do a candy grab, right? You've got to think along those lines. Um, when I was in Excel for a while, because I wanted to learn that category, I had a lot of sweets and then on board. Who were the ones that always stole and took all my sweets? Well, it was families traveling with kids, right? So there was a there was an adult in the room, in the car, but the kids would clean me out. And um, at some point, it doesn't make sense. But if you with private clients, I mean, I have probably 10 different mint types. I have the spearmint, I have the sours, I have the cinnamon. And they're like, wow, who is this for? It's for you, right? And I have it up in the front here. Uh, at least 10 of those boxes. But um, let me know. 
Let me know what you do for your clients. And again, like what category you're in. And if you do nothing for them, that's fine. If you say, hell no, I'm not going to give them anything because they're not paying me anything. I understand. I fully, fully understand where you're coming from. In 2024, if you don't have any of this, I fully understand because this all costs money, right? But I can tell you something back in 2014, 2015, you would make bank if you had this type of presentation. Be well, be safe out there, and I'm looking forward to your comments.